Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about current transformer CT. In this video, I will cover what is current transformer and its working operation, the nameplate detail of current transformer and how to do the correct selection of current transformer. So let's start this video. Now let us understand what is current transformer. Current transformer is an instrument transformer. The working principle of current transformer is same as the power transformer or voltage transformer. That is the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. As the power transformer or voltage transformer transforming the power from one circuit to another circuit, in same manner the current transformer is also transforming electrical power from one circuit to another circuit. What does it mean? Let me explain this one. Suppose this is a voltage transformer, okay, and it is 100 kVA transformer. It is a step down transformer, so it's it's stepping down. 11 kilo volt to 415 volt okay here we see that there is a transformation of voltage from 11 kilo volt to 415 volt that's why it is called voltage transformer but when we will clearly observe this voltage transformer then we will find that this voltage transformer also transforming the current which you will get it from its nameplate that when the voltage is transforming from 11 kilo volt to 415 volt the ampere the current is also transformed from primary winding from 5.25 ampere to 139.1 ampere means the voltage transformer also transforming the current previously the current in the primary winding was 5.25 ampere and the after transformation the current in the secondary winding is 139.1 ampere as our interest in the voltage transformer is in the voltage only that's why we are considering only the voltage but it doesn't mean that the voltage transformer doesn't transform the current voltage transformer also transforming the current but our interest is to check the voltage that this transformer is a step how much is stepping down or how much is stepping up the voltage as our focus on voltage transformer or current transformer is on voltage only that's why we express the voltage transformer or power transformer as 11 kilo volt slash 415 volt 100 kVA transformer like this means we are expressing the voltage transformer in the voltage form because our interest in the voltage transformer or power transformer is only in the voltage not in the current now let us back to our topic in the current transformer our interest is in the current so the current transformer is also expressed in the current form like if we will consider this is a current transformer then we will say that 5.25 slash 139.1 100 kVA transformer okay so in current transformer our interest our main focus is in the current but it doesn't mean the current transformer not transforming the voltage it is transforming the voltage but we are ignoring it as our main focus main interest in, is in the current so here one important question arises that the power transformer and the current transformer is same there is no difference between power transformer and current transformer the answer is big no there is a difference between the power transformer and the current transformer the big difference is that in the power transformer you will find two winding one winding for primary and one winding for secondary but in the current transformer you will find only secondary winding and the primary winding of the current transformer is that conductor or bus bar whose current which we need to measure so here in power transformer you will find two winding primary and secondary but in the current transformer you will find only the secondary winding and the primary winding will be that conductor whose current which we need to measure the other big difference between power transformer and current transformer is that in the power transformer the secondary current is depending on the primary current and the primary current is depending on the secondary current it means there is a relation between primary and secondary current and one will change if other changes but in current transformer the secondary current is depend on the primary conductor but the primary current will not depend on the secondary current meaning 
even if we will short it or even if we will give any other load to the secondary winding of the current transformer the primary current will remain same as it is independent from the secondary current secondary winding but in the power transformer it's not the case the primary current also depend on the secondary current and secondary current depend on the primary current but in the current transformer only the secondary current depend on the primary current primary current but the primary current will not depend on the secondary current hope you understand this one there are many other difference between the current transformer and power transformer uh, like in the power transformer the power transformer can be step up transformer or step down transformer depending on the use of power transformer if it is in the transmission line section then it will be a step a step up transformer type and when it is in the distribution section then it will be in the like a step down transformer but the current transformer is always an step up transformer which is stepping up the voltage or we can say that it is stepping down the current the other difference between the current transformer and power transformer is that current transformer is used for metering or controlling the electrical parameter like voltage and current or kwh or it's activating the relay for the controlling purpose but the power transformer is to step up and step down the voltage for the transmission of power or for the distribution of power so there are many other difference which you will find in the google but the major difference and the basic difference between the current transformer and the power transformer i explained you to have a clear and better understanding for the current transformer so far what we study for the current transformer is that the current transformer is a instrument transformer which is either using for monitoring or controlling the electrical power the second thing which we study about the current transformer is that the current transformer have only the secondary winding and the primary winding for the current transformer is that conductor whose current which we need to measure the third thing which we study about the current transformer is that the current transformer is always an step up transformer meaning it is stepping up the voltage and vice versa is stepping down the current it means the current transformer has more number of turns in the secondary winding and the winding in the primary side is either one turn or two turn depending on the conductor whose current which we need to measure the secondary winding current of the current transformer is always either one ampere or five ampere you will not find any current transformer whose secondary winding current is other than one ampere or five ampere so it is a standard now let us study the working operation of current transformer which i explained you also but just an overview here the working principle of the current transformer is same as the power transformer if we place the current transformer in such a manner that the conductor whose current we need to measure is passing through the window of the current transformer then due to the current flowing in the conductor the emf is induced in the secondary winding of the current transformer and due to this induced emf in the secondary winding of the current transformer if the winding is shorted or connected with some load then the current will flow in the secondary winding this is the basic principle and the working operation of the current transformer which is nothing but the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction in order to measure the current which is flowing through this conductor what we will do we will place this conductor inside the window of the current transformer then what will happen due to the induction the emf is induced in the secondary winding of the current transformer and if we will tap this one through its s1 and s2 terminal and connect with the ammeter then ammeter will give reading which is flowing through this conductor let us understand this topic by using an example suppose there is 100 ampere of current is flowing through this conductor and due to the induction there is a step down in the current and the current flowing through the secondary winding is only 1 ampere then this 1 ampere it will flows through the ammeter which is connected with the ct then this ammeter knows the ratio of the current transformer and it will reflect that there is a 100 ampere of current flowing through the conductor by multiplying this 1 ampere with the known ratio of the ct in same manner if we want to measure the current flowing in the phase v phase b we will place a ct in such a manner that the conductor whose current is need to be measured is passing through the window of the ct then we will tap the secondary current of the ct which is produced due to the primary current 
which is flowing in the conductor we will give it to the emitter and as the ct is stepping down the current with the known ratio and this current will flow through the emitter for example here suppose 200 ampere is flowing through the conductor and ct will convert this 200 ampere to 5 ampere then this 5 ampere current will flow through the emitter and emitter will multiply that 5 ampere with the same ratio of ct in order to show in his analog meter that actually 200 ampere of current is flowing through the conductor but actually the emitter is processing only 5 ampere of current but as the ct has its known ratio then the emitter will multiply that 5 ampere of current by the known known ratio and it will give the reading in its dial as 200 ampere but the current inside the emitter is only 5 ampere suppose if the same ct if the same conductor having a current of 100 ampere then the ct will give the secondary current as 2.5 ampere then this 2.5 ampere of current will flow through the ammeter and ammeter will multiply it to the ct ratio and give the current as 100 ampere so in this way a very small current is passing through the ammeter and it is processing this current and multiplying this current with the known ct ratio and reflecting the actual current flowing into the conductor which we need to measure so this make the circuit very simple and cost efficient as i told you that the secondary current of the ct is depending on the current which is flowing through the conductor passing through its window so suppose i want to protect the load from the overcurrent then we place one ct in such a manner that the cable which is feeding that load is passing through the window of that ct and whenever there is a overcurrent passing through this conductor then this ct will operate this relay and it will break the circuit in order to protect this load so ct is not only used for measuring of the current and the kwh unit but also for the controlling and protecting the electrical circuit i will more deeply discuss about the monitoring and controlling and metering of the ct operation in my further videos but for time being just you understand that the ct is using for the metering purpose as well as for protection and here i want to highlight one important point that the ct ratio of the current transformer and the ct ratio of emitter should be same if the ct ratio of current transformer and emitter is different then emitter will reflect wrong reading let me explain you with the example to better understand this concept suppose there is a 100 ampere of current is flowing through this R phase, Y phase and B phase. So 100 ampere from R phase, 100 ampere from B, B phase and 100 ampere from uh, blue phase. So we can say that this CT has a primary current or the input current as a 100 ampere. This CT is stepping down this primary current into its secondary current as 5 ampere. I am just taking an example. Okay. Then this emitter will reflect the reading as 100 ampere suppose if the loader motor is not much loaded then the motor is not drawing much more current and this time it's taking the current of 50 ampere then the input current for this ct is now 50 ampere then the input output current that is the secondary current for this ct is this time not 5 ampere but 2.5 ampere and this emitter will reflect this time not 100 ampere but 50 ampere so here you find one relation that whenever the input current is reducing the output current is also reducing and the reduction is by 20 time why 20 time because when the input current was 50 then the output current was 5 so the reduction was 100 by 5 that is 20 okay and when the current is 50 then the output current is 2.5 and again the reduction is 50 by 2.5 that is again 20 so here we can say that the ct is stepping down the primary current 20 times then suppose if the load is only load current is only 25 ampere then this time the ct secondary current will be 
1.25 and again the CT ratio that is 25 by 1.25 again it will be 20 so what ammeter will do in that case whatever current ammeter is receiving the ammeter will multiply this current with the 20 time and reflecting its meter accordingly so in that case one more important point came into the picture that the ratio of the CT should be same as the ratio of the ammeter if this ammeter is multiplying by 15 whatever current he is it is receiving then the current value will be incorrect so the ammeter's ratio and the CT ratio will be same in order to reflect the correct reading in the ammeter I will discuss more deeply about the CT ratio in my further video when I will discuss about the nameplate detail of the current transformer but for the overview now you understand that how the ammeter is taking only 5 ampere but reflecting 100 ampere of current because the ammeter knows the CT ratio how the ammeter knows CT ratio because we are fixing the ammeter of same ratio which CT has so it will multiply with the same ratio hope you understood this concept I hope you find my video informative and you learn something new from this video I hope you clearly understand from this video what is current transformer and what is the working principle and working operation of current transformer. I will make more videos on current transformer so stay tuned. We will meet in any other video. Till then take care, keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.